Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to make a couple of announcements before it starts in case there's anything that I missed in my video. I'm collabing with Miss Karen Ann MUA. I'm pretty sure you all know who she is, but if you don't, I'm going to leave her channel link down below. Make sure you go check her out. If there's anything that you want to learn about makeup, she is your girl for sure. She does amazing giveaways and does giveaways all the time. She she calls everybody a part of her community, her gems, which is so cute. I love it. She's just super sweet, super giving, very supportive, and she's always there to help other channels like mine out. And it's so very much appreciated. She challenged me to do a look with the Maddie Ziegler palette that I won in her giveaway. She did six different looks with that palette and I posted a video and had all of you vote which one you wanted me to do. Look number three is the one that won out. It's like a sea mermaid vibe look and uh, I think it came out okay. I, I'm i gonna let you guys be the judge of that though but there is a giveaway. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment because she's gonna pick a winner from the comments in my video. So don't forget to comment so you have a chance to win that palette. It's amazing. You don't want to miss out. Also, I will leave the rules to the giveaway down below. This is Karen, Karen's giveaway, and she's responsible for the giveaway. YouTube is in no way affiliated with anything. So, um, yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to see how this turned out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate it. I hope while you're here that you will go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. If you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up, it really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel and go down below and leave a comment. If you're returning, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate you so much. You mean a lot to me. A few days ago, I had posted a video about a palette that I won from Karen Ann MUA. So she had challenged me to recreate one of her looks that she did with this Maddie Ziegler X Morphe palette. And um, oh, to say I'm not a little bit nervous would be lying because she's a makeup artist and trying to recreate the beautiful looks that she does. Well, it's a little intimidating, <laughs> but I am going to try my best. I have her video pulled up right here so that I can follow along with it and see if we can recreate this look. It's a Under the Sea Mermaid um, vibes look, uh, purple, blue, um, and we're gonna see if we can recreate it um, because that's what you guys picked. The majority of you picked that look anyway so i'm going to go with the majority and i'm going to try and recreate her look i really hope i do it justice and i really hope i can do a good job so let's get out our palette let's start up this video and see what we got going on here i believe the first color that she's going to start with is this purple right here she insists so let's take a look and see what she does. Okay, so the first color she goes in with is She Insists, which is this purple color right here. She uses a fluffy brush like this. And she just goes in right in the crease to make this a transition color. And she said not to go all the way to the inner corner she switches brushes after she uses this one to make it a little bit more pigmented, but this one is actually working pretty well. This is my AOA Studio. I got a brush set from uh, Shop Miss A, and this is one of the brushes, and this is actually the first time I'm using it. And I'm actually thinking this is doing pretty close to 
to how she had it looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish. That's what that looks like. She says these thicker brushes, or these more fluffy brushes are good for blending, but brushes like this that are more uh, dense, I guess she said, would uh, pack the color in better. So you would use this to lay down the color and this to blend it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish using this on both eyes and I'll be back when I'm done with this and then we'll look and see what the next color is. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so now she goes into Passe, which is this like shimmer purple right here. But she says it doesn't, I mean, it lay, she says it doesn't lay down as a shimmer. It lays down as a matte, but kind of has a shimmer to it. And she just, I think she's using a brush like this from what I can tell in the video. And she just dips into the color Posse and then she just starts patting it down just like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is a really beautiful color. And she was saying she, she wanted to go for like a mermaid sea vibe with the look that she's doing. I don't wanna blend it out. She didn't blend it out, she just packed it. She just packed it in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pack this in and I'll get, so what do you guys think? I think I maybe took it in a little too far, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna finish packing this in on this eye and then I'm gonna get the other eye taken care of and then I'll be right back and we'll move on to the next step. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope I can pull this off. Okay guys, so the next thing that she does is she uses kind of like a brush like this and just kind of blends out the edge up here just a little bit just to soften it up. God, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> ah, this is, this is not stressful, but you know what I mean? It's just, I get a little nervous. I want it to look, you know, good. So you can still see the transition shake. When she's doing it, she says that even when you're blending it out, you can still see the transition shade in there, which you can. And she builds the color up a little bit more after she blends it out a little bit. So, and then she goes back in with this fluffy brush and just kind of goes over it as well. And then she, she says the color kind of dissipates a little bit from the blending. And then she goes in and builds it up a little bit more. So I don't know that I really need to, but I am gonna kind of build it up just a little bit more. And she uses a setting spray too, to make it, you know, pop a little more, but I'm not real good at that. And I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm just gonna kinda go with it and just kinda follow her steps. And she said she doesn't put it like right where she blended, just right below where she blended to kinda build up the color a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna watch a little bit more and I'll be right back to kinda tell you what the next step is. <laughs> okay, so the next thing she does is she continues with the posse, the purple color, and goes underneath her eye. I'm not really, I can't really tell exactly what brush she's using, so I'm gonna use this bling brush that I got in my Starry Night collection and just get it on this lower lash line. I don't know, maybe I should use setting spray like she does, but I think I'm just gonna, and she doesn't go all the way in, she just kinda goes on the out, outer here. I think if I remember correctly, she's gonna use 
a different color in here and kind of blend it in with the purple when we get to that part. Kind of adds a little more color out here. And she says we're gonna do some blend, more blending, but not right now. Just kind of tapping this on here. And she's gonna do a cut crease. Okay, how's that looking guys? All right, let me see what she does next with the cut crease and what color she's gonna use and I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so she does the cut crease and she goes into the color mint. So I got my concealer right here. Oops, there she comes back. <laughs> and she just lays it. And she doesn't go all the way halfway. She just goes three quarters or a third. I don't know. I guess like right there. And she says the lighter, the lighter the concealer, the more that it'll make the color pop. So this is like one of the lightest concealers I have to use for a cut crease. So. I'm gonna get that. And she comes all the way down to the lash line. This one, I think I went a little bit further than that one, but that's okay. We'll make this work. We will make this work. And then she kind of dusts it a little bit with some powder so it's not sticky. God, I think. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna take mint, which is this color right here, and she puts that down. So I'm just gonna use this same brush. I color switched it a little bit to get some of that concealer off. And then we're just gonna tap it. Oh, mercy me. Look at that color. And she just brings it to where the concealer ends. Okay, look at that. Wow, that's a really pretty color. Holy crap. So let's get this eye. She's so talented. I really hope I can pull this off. What do you guys think? That's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love this palette. Holy crap. I need a makeup wipe so I can get this concealer off. Okay, so then she goes into the number five, which is this blue color right here. And she just puts it right on the edge there. So let me color switch this brush. And I'm gonna dip into number five. And I'm just gonna kinda tap it right here like she did. A little bit. Tap it off, she says tap it off. Pretty, huh? Okay, and then she goes back in to Posse, which is that purple, and just kind of adds a little more purple. Mmm, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Okay, hold on guys. I'm gonna see what she does next and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing she does is she uses what she calls a stiffy, which is like a brush like this, the angled eyeliner brush, and she goes in with the color mint and gets it in here. So 
we got that. And then she uses a LA Girl Shockwave liner, like a light color. I'm pretty sure this might be the exact one she uses. I'm not sure. I gotta wipe that off a little bit. And she goes in the waterline with it. Look at that, wow. I think somebody's having a party. I can hear music bumping. Okay, so we got that. Oh no, son of a crap. Oh, okay. Whew. This little piece popped off in here. I was like, no. So put that lid back on there and put that away. And then she uses... What kind of brush does she use? It looked like, um, I'm gonna use this one. And she just kinda blends these, blends this out a little bit down here. She says not go all the way to the inner corner, but you can go to the outer corner, so. And then she does like this concealer trick which I don't know if I'll be able to do, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, I can try. She just uses it to kind of like make this a little more sharp out here. And then she does a wing, a wing liner. But, I am terrible at the liquid liner. We all know this. I've told you guys many a time that I suck at liquid liner. So what I normally do is, let me color switch this, is I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pantera in here because I find it is easier for me to do a wing with eyeshadow than let me spray this. Definitely gonna have to spray this a little bit. Because I don't want it to, to fall out on my face. All right, so I sprayed that. So we're gonna go ahead and put, I'm just gonna stamp it on here, right? On the lash line, all the way, all the way to the edge here, and then I'll wing it out after I get it laid down. And she does lashes too. So, <laughs> I had ordered these lashes from um, Shop Miss A. So we're gonna give it a whirl and see if I can make it happen. Okay, hold that thought for a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I put a little powder down, hopefully to catch any fallout. So I'm just gonna wing this out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see that? ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, I'm back. So the next thing she does is she uses a Jaclyn Hill highlighter. I don't have a Jaclyn Hill highlighter so I'm going to use my Believe Beauty highlighter and she puts it right underneath her brow here. She also puts a little bit in the inner corner. I 
Okay. Color switch that. And then she puts some highlighter here as well. So I'm gonna use this um, Starry Night Bling brush and just get a little highlight right here. <gasps> Look at that. Glow into the gums. Okay. So, now I'm going to use this and I'm just going to kind of tap this down a little bit. How's it looking, guys? How am I doing so far? Ooh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go off and I'm gonna try and get these lashes on and we'll see how it goes. So I will be back in, I got a piece of hair that's driving me crazy. I'll be back in a minute, hopefully with the lashes on. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, guys, here's the final look. So. The lashes were a fail. I tried for like 20 minutes and I just couldn't get them on. So I just used my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which I love and it, I think it gives me nice lashes. I don't know, what do you guys think? So I will insert a picture of Karen's look right here and that way you can kind of see us side to side and well, see if I did her any justice. What do you think, Karen? Did I do okay? Did I step up to the challenge? I hope so, I'm so nervous. I don't think it's perfect, but I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks really pretty. So I feel like a mermaid right now with my little cat ears. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, she will be having a giveaway. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to subscribe to my channel. You're going to want to like my video, give it a thumbs up big time, and also go down and leave a comment because I believe that she's going to pick a winner from my comments from this video. So make sure that you go down below and leave a comment. Should we say anything special in the comments? No, just leave a just leave a comment letting me know what you think of the look. If it looks, you know, at least close to maybe as good as hers. I don't know. I tried. I did my best. And remember, I'm not a professional makeup artist. So, you know, I just like playing with makeup. I'm just a regular everyday Joe that likes to play in makeup, you know what I mean? And I've liked playing with makeup since I was a young girl and uh, it makes me happy, it makes me feel pretty, so I like playing with it. Um, so again, there's going to be a giveaway and you need to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get notified of any and all future uploads. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, it really means a lot to me and it totally helps out my channel. And leave a comment, don't forget to leave a comment. If you don't leave a comment, you can't win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Thank you so much for being here. Karen, thank you so much for doing this with me and challenging me to step out of my comfort zone, like way far out of my comfort zone. But I think it turned out okay. I'm, I'm not completely disappointed with it at all. These colors are beautiful. This palette is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you all. Have a great night. Thank you again, Karen. And make sure you leave a comment so you can win, 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 win. Leave a comment. Don't you want a Maddie Ziegler palette so you can do pretty looks like this? Of course you do. All right, see you guys next time. I love you all. Bye.